Hello, my name is Connor Smith, and welcome back to another episode of Data in the Wild, hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're covering how to execute an Excel macro using Alteryx. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to execute an Excel macro using Alteryx is to have an Excel macro. Look here, this macro will add the word success as well as the date and time value to cell A1. The second thing you'll need is a VBS file. I'm gonna show you where you can get a VBS file that will it's already pre-populated and you can kind of just use this as a cookie cutter template. Go to your web browser and Google Alteryx Excel Macro. Run a quick search. Should be able to find a result. For me, it's the second one. That is Alteryx run command executing Excel macros VBA. It's dated October 2nd, 2019. This is an Alteryx community post that details the instructions on how to set up the run command tool specifically for executing VBA macros in Excel through Alteryx. We're gonna scroll past the instructions and just borrow from his example workflow here that he's packaged up for us. If you download this, it will be an Alteryx package file that you can open and then import see that upon importing you have three files his structure is very similar to the structure we'll be providing for an example today but I'll point out of the three files he provides we will only be using the VBS file here but I import those and then you'll see that they download into my download folder go ahead and shrink this as well as this you'll go back to my download folder here I can dig into those resources provided from Alteryx community. I'm going to copy and paste this VBS file into my working directory. And then I'm going to right click on the VBS file, say open with, and I'm going to open a notepad. The reason I did that is because if you double click on the VBS file instead of opening it into a notepad like so, it will go ahead and execute that script. Now here is the script that is located in the VBS file, and this is what we're going to be leveraging to communicate between Alteryx and Excel. There are two changes we need to make to this script. One is going to be the workbook path. Instead of the VBA example from Alteryx community example provided, we're going to be using this macro-enabled workbook that I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste it in the name there. The other change we need to make is the change to the macro name. Instead of macro one, I'm going to call this my macro's name, which is Hello Alteryx. Okay, so that's the macro name in this workbook here. With those two slight changes, I can go ahead and save this VBS file, close it, and then I can test it by double clicking the VBS file. As I double click it, you should see that the macro Enable workbook open for a second there, it flashed on my screen. And at just a couple of seconds here, you'll see the date stamp changes. That's been opened, macro has been executed, and then it's been closed. If we now go and open this file, we can go look and see that cell A1 has been All right, So this is a great sign. We've got a working VBS file that is successfully kicking off our macro. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this. We have a fresh start when we do the same thing in Alteryx. So now that we have a VBS file that will execute our macro, we now need a, an Alteryx workflow that will execute our VBS file. To do this, we can go ahead and open up Alteryx, create a new workflow, and add to the canvas a run command tool. Now for our use case today, the configuration is going to be very simple. We're going to use the command C script. The command argument will be a reference to the VBS file. I go get the VBS file name here. I can 
copy that. I need to put in open quotes, DBS file name. That's not right. Open quotes, VBS file name dot. Make sure we include the extension VBS close quotes. Okay, so those are the first two pieces of configuration. I will tell you the run command tool requires either an output file to be written or an input file to be read. Okay, since an output file to be written requires a incoming data connection, I don't have one. We're going to go ahead and eliminate this option instead use an input file that needs to be read. Now to configure this, I can point it to really any input file. It doesn't really matter because our focus is just executing that macro. So that being said, I'll just point this at the VBS file, read in the VBS script. So I can do so by just typing file name, pressing refresh here, reading as a delimited text file. Press OK. Now you'll notice I did use relative paths. You can use absolute paths if you want to put the exact URL where these files are. That's fine. If you are using relative paths, however, you need to make sure you save your workflow relative to where your files are located. So if I want this to actually reference this file here, I do need to make sure I save this workflow into the same work, working directory. I'll go ahead and do that. Save as browse. And I'll go ahead and save this as VBA execution. Save there. And now we can test out whether this workflow will really kick off that VBS script. Let's right, run here. Come real fast to my file explorer. You'll see for just a second it opened my Excel file and then ran the macro. Excel file. So if I go ahead and open up this Excel file again, you'll see that the macro has successfully been executed. And again, this was triggered by Alteryx. That wraps up today's video on how to execute an Excel macro using Alteryx. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.